This is how you get to one of Cuba's best fishing spots. The Cienega de Zapata National Park contains 300,000 hectares of unspoiled natural beauty. Here there's no development, no pollution, and lots of fish. Very few places out there where the resource has absolutely been put first and foremost. And when that happens, the fishing is excellent and Cuba is a perfect example of that. Water flows into the park from the Bay of Pigs where in 1961, a US backed invasion of Cuba failed spectacularly. For four or five decades, Cuba remained isolated from the U.S. and its unspoiled waters were off limits to U.S. fishermen. But as the U.S. and Cuba repair ties, that's changing. On Friday, Orvis, which says it's the largest fly fishing company in the world, will begin offering trips to the communist-run island. Just 90 miles from the U.S., Cuba could soon become a major fishing destination. It sparks curiosity. There's sort of a forbidden fruit element to it. The question now becomes, how will the Cuban government manage the increased interest? The park we're in is a pristine place. Guides say they only let eight people fish in these waters at any one time. The challenge, though, for Cuba is how do you meet the growing demands of the tourism industry and protect unique natural environments like this one? Cuban guide Felipe Rodriguez says the area's future as a fishing destination will boost the local economy and provide a reason for people here to safeguard their environment. We don't want 100 people fishing in the same spot. We want few people doing well and at the same time preserving the, the area. Orvis, which does $340 million a year in sales, donates 5% of their pre-tax profits to conservation. Money that will soon go to help preserve Cuba's unique environment. It's something that's that's kind of instilled in us, which is, you know, you. You kind of use a fly rod to find amazing places, amazing species, amazing people. Um, and that's just kind of what the, what the tool has become for all of us. The company says it practices only catch and release fishing so that this untapped resource in Cuba will endure for years to come. Patrick Gottman, CNN, the Cienega de Zapata National Park, Cuba.